Well, June is Pride Month, a time for the LGBTQ plus community to be celebrated, seen, and heard, and for allies to show their support. Well, this morning we meet a single gay dad who just wrote the children's book More Than a Crown in honor of his daughter Amina. And joining me now is Amina and her dad, Roberto Concepcion Jr. Welcome. Thank you so much for having us. Hi, Amina. Say hi, you Cindy. See yourself on TV? Hi, Cindy. <laughs> <laughs> Amina, how old are you? Uh, how old are you? You three? Okay. Okay. Well, I love the book. I mean, it's amazing. It. Um, I wish it was a down around when my daughter was here because I mean, when my daughter was younger, because it's so inclusive. It breaks down the stereotypes of what are expected by girls. Tell me why Papa, you wrote this book. Yeah. A water. Uh, I'll give you water in just a second, okay? <laughs> um, you know, Cindy, I'm so glad to hear that. I mean, for, for me, I knew that as a dad, it's my responsibility to make sure that Mina feels loved, valued, and empowered. Um, and for me, one way for us okay. to do that was through this book, where Amina can see herself and girls of color. Um, visually challenging traditional expectations of girls, following their dreams, and changing the world. Now, while the book is intended for children, all children, mm -hmm. um, I really wanted the book to serve as a reminder for families, particularly those of girls, that we really need to encourage them to follow their dreams. Yeah. Hey, Amina. <laughs> It's background music. Okay, now luckily we are seeing more diverse children's books, you know, published, but um, we still have a long way to go, especially with diverse authors. Sure. I mean, that's exactly right. I mean, while the number of diverse children's books has continued to increase, the percentage of those that are by and about um, members of diverse backgrounds mm -hmm. hasn't kept pace. So, for example, just a few years ago, uh, you're gonna come this way? Okay. <laughs> While, for example, just a few years ago, um, I think about 2% of books were written by and about those of the Latinx community. Mm -hmm. um, and less than 2% were written by and about members of the LGBTQ plus community. I mean, currently, there are more children's books with main characters who are animals than main characters who are of diverse backgrounds. And so I hope that the book is one small way to make sure that our stories are told and our voices are heard. Roberto, both you and I are single parents. We decided to have children on our own. Sure. Tell me about your journey with Amina. Oh. Hi. Yeah. So at a young age, I knew I wanted to be a dad. Mm -hmm. um, and when I reached my mid-30s, I knew that I was ready to start this parenting journey, even if that meant starting it without a partner. Um, and thanks to an amazing egg donor and a wonderful surrogate, like they were able to make my dream of becoming a parent a reality. Now, while I certainly started this journey um, as a single parent, um, I am not doing this alone. I have an incredible support system, which includes my, my parents, my sister, my chosen family, and now my partner. Um, which is why this book really also aims to celebrate um, families of all structures. I love that you mentioned that because I always, whenever other people are thinking of becoming single parents, I say you need to build up your bench. Absolutely. You know, because it does, it does take so many people. You are a lawyer and a single dad. How did you find time to get this book done? <laughs> and what advice do you have for other sure. people interested in writing a children's book? Sure. I mean, for me, I think, um, you know, this project has been a labor of love for the last two years and Amina has been my inspiration every step of the way. As you're right, you're right, life can get busy. Um, and I just found myself working through the book during downtime, whether that was during the morning commute or before bed. Um, I think we all have stories to tell. Some of us just want to share them with the world. And so if you're one of those people, I say just go for it. All right, I love it. Amina. Amina. Do you want to say anything? Are we done? Do you want to say bye? Can you say bye to bye. Cindy? Yeah. Say bye. <laughs> <laughs> Roberto and Amina, thanks so much. And you can find their book, More Than a Crown, an empowering princess book for kids on Amazon. We'll be right back. Mm -hmm.